In this video, I'm going to give you a ready to implement formula for bug bounty hunting. First and foremost, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Chris. I work in cybersecurity and on this channel, I make a lot of videos on this topic. Now, if you're into that, subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of all my new videos. And if you're looking for a job in cybersecurity and need one-on-one -on -one training or coaching, get in touch with me using uh, the links below. All right, so number zero. There is actually not one bug hunting methodology to actually rule them all. Um, I like to think uh, that any seasoned security researcher develops their own tactic as they become more experienced. Now, with that in mind, I'd like to say that uh, the following steps have been inspired by Carlos uh, Lozano's Bug Hunting Essentials, which is a must read uh, if you're a bug hunter. Link below. Now, let's take your typical scenario. You're a beginner security researcher and you've uh, created a profile on Bugcrowd, HackerOne or another platform uh, to list uh, bounty programs. And I'm going to discuss the platforms in more details in future videos. So number one, pick a target or a program that you resonate with. Pro tip, select a program that you feel uh, you'll be enjoying working on even when the proverbial shit hits the fan. And make no mistake, uh, that's gonna happen. I, for example, go for large scopes, meaning that a program has many assets, and I like to go for services uh, that I use, such as online payment company, or a crypto trading service, uh, or stuff like that. Once you have your target, it's extremely important that you read the scope and the policy of the program before even beginning your research. Number two, recon and discovery. I've got a lot to talk about recon because this is what I enjoy most doing at the moment. And I'm gonna dedicate more videos uh, to recon alone. This is the step where uh, you're actually going to use a combination of manual investigation and automated testing. And this is where your programming skills might come in handy. Uh, now, I personally, for example, wrote a few tools in Bash and in Python that's making my recon much more simplified. And then you have the uber awesome lazy recon of Ben, also known as Nahamsek. So check that out. And of course, there are other tools that are worth mentioning uh, for recon, such as Subfinder, AMAS, Wayback Machine, Domain, Cert.sh, Dir search, link finder, and many, many more. Pro tip, you're always doing recon and discovering new assets. You should keep that in mind at all times. Number three, test individual assets. Now, once you have a good map of your target and you have a decent list uh, of assets, start testing and focusing on particular assets. Like for example, uh, let's say you find an interesting subdomain that hosts a web application. Now you should begin testing that asset extensively. And this is where you get into stuff like the OWASP uh, top 10. For example, you can start by fuzzing the application to see what kind of errors uh, it throws back at you when you provide unexpected input. Then you can look into JS files that might leak sensitive information. You can look for broken access controls indirect object references, XSS, SQLi, SSRF, XXE, and all the goodies. Once you find a vulnerability, uh, try to exploit it and uh, hit it from different angles. Now, there are tons of free videos and bounty reports out there for each vulnerability. Do your own research. I personally like uh, to look for iDoors right now and broken access controls. Uh, and uh, I've also started digging into XSS, but I don't know, for some reason, I still find it hard to appropriately grasp the subject. Fellas, check out my Python basics course to learn the fundamentals of Python you need in cybersecurity. Discount link in the description. So, in review, number one, pick a program you like and clearly understand the scope. Number two, do continuous massive recon and discovery. Number three, select particular assets and test extensively. Number four, notes, notes, and more notes. Now, you should actually write this on your forehead. 
always take notes and document your approach. You are a security researcher, and as any other methodical and respected researcher, you carefully document all your steps and all your findings. This is going to be crucial to you when you find a vulnerability and send a report to the bounty program. And this is also going to be extremely helpful to you for future programs as you will have a map to guide you through the process. Now, you might want to check out this video in which I talk about a particular back bounty pro tip that often gives you a solid advantage over other researchers. Also, you might want to join this amazing community of InfoSec fellows on Discord where we discuss all things cybersecurity. Link below. Please help me grow the channel by sharing this video around so that YouTube starts suggesting my content to more CyberSec people. And until next time, thank you for watching.